Remember that time Disney World opened a ride that no one asked for? There are some rides that it's just like, why did you do this? Making a Minnie's Runaway Railway is what replaced the great movie ride in the Chinese theater at Hollywood Studios. You go into a movie theater, you're watching the premiere of the brand new Mickey Mouse short in the new style of animation. Mickey and Minnie are going on a little date situation. Going on a picnic in the summer and Pluto's with them and then tragedy strikes. Goofy's driving a train in a park but the train, a pie lands in the smokestack and then the train explodes and it blows a hole in the Chinese theater that leads, if you walk through it, to the cartoon world. You are inside the cartoon. Everything looks like a cartoon world. The lights, the floor, the walls. And you end up getting on Goofy's train and he's like, well, I guess I'll drive you around the park since you're here. Who comes speeding in in their little convertible sports car? Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Mickey is reckless and he runs into the signal that changes the tracks. The train gets separated from all the cars. And they have to get you back and save the runaway railway. My favorite scene is the waterfall scene because it just, because it actually feels like you are going down a water, like it, 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 there is weight to it. My favorite scene in Mickey and Minnie's is definitely the ending scene. I love the song. I love the little animatronics and the fake fireworks. I love the end. The end is just so good. I mean, like I could cry sometimes when I'm on the end of the ride. My favorite scene is the scene with Daisy where she teaches dance instruction and she's like, come, come, come. <gasps> yes, and one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, excellent. And then we slip into that cha-cha and like Daisy just kind of turns up. I love the scene in Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway so much when I adopted Daisy and I needed to give her a name. I thought I love Daisy Duck so much now because of the dance scene in Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway that I'm gonna name her Daisy. It's controversial, not just in the Disney world, but in my personal life. Mickey and Minnie's replaced the Great Movie Ride. Great Movie Ride was an excellent attraction that I think we can all agree needed a number of updates. We were perfectly fine seeing Miss Mary Poppins with her jacked up face talking to Bert with his jacked up face, okay? I love to be some great movie ride. It was easily my favorite ride in Hollywood Studios, one of my favorites in all of Disney World. I absolutely loved the way that it was like interactive and the cast member was a part of it. And it all like, it was like a performance, but you also got to like go into the movies. Not that we don't like Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, it's that it's, the ride that replaced a ride that we loved. I honestly, 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 I cried my eyes out when they closed Great Movie Ride. And they announced that it was closing. I knew I'd never get to ride it again because we didn't have a trip planned. And then obviously when it closed, like that was it. And somewhere in some back lot, our dear Humphrey Bogart, he's sitting in a warehouse. And you know what he's not saying? I do think it fits in Hollywood Studios. I think some people are like, why is it in the Chinese theater? Um, but actually many Mickey and Minnie cartoons did debut at the real Groundlands Chinese theater in Hollywood. Uh, so did other Disney movies such as Mary Poppins. So it's not out of place in my opinion. I feel like they fit it in well. I think they did a really good job of making this ride fit in Hollywood Studios. The theme of Hollywood Studios is obviously looser nowadays. I don't necessarily know if Hollywood Studios understands its own theming anymore. I don't know that it would really fit perfectly anywhere. I think if you're going to put it somewhere, Hollywood Studios is the best choice. And it is a story, you're in the story. So I don't think it's a perfect fit, but I also think they're kind of transitioning into a new Hollywood studio. It's taken me a while to get to that point where I can say that, but yes, I do believe Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway belongs in the Chinese theater in Disney's Hollywood Studios. What are you doing to those skunks? to harness their funk. Let's talk Figment. No one asked for Journey into Imagination with Figment. Editor's already mad at me and editing me to say something by a meme. 
Journey into Imagination with Figment is the third iteration of a thoroughly beloved ride from not terribly long after the opening of Epcot Center. It opened in 1983. First, there was Journey into Imagination that featured Figment the Dragon, who, you know, he's purple, he's a popcorn bucket, and Dreamfinder, who was this lovely bearded gentleman, and he created a figment of your imagination. And there's a cute little song that I'm sure Breedlove's already singing. One little spark of inspiration. And the Dreamfinder took you on this tour and it was all about following your dreams and it was amazing and wonderful. And then when you exited, there was a rainbow tunnel everybody was obsessed with. Very popular, wildly popular. And Disney closed it, which was upsetting to many, many, many people. They did a refurbishment and removed Figment completely. It was so bad and so controversial. People hated it so much, it closed in like a year. And now we have the current version, which is Journey into Your Imagination with Figment. And it brought Figment back, but not Dreamfinder. First one, spectacular. Second one, horrible. Third one, we'll take what we can get, right? If it ain't broke, don't fix it, cause y'all never fix this. Even though I still stand this attraction because we still have some resemblance of yesteryear and what it used to be, it was best when it first opened. I would improve this ride by getting rid of it. I say, close it, gut it. Burn it to the ground. Let's do a Figment indoor roller coaster, but not the intensity level of Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, even though that's my favorite ride. Make it a family coaster. Figment is on too much merchandise, okay? Figment is the mascot of everything. You cannot get rid of it because Figment is engraved in the very core of Epcot. Honestly, just give it a little TLC. It never works completely when you're in there. Everything looks a little rickety. Things could use a new paint job. The sound is also a poor quality. I would give it the Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway treatment. I think that the trackless technology suits itself for an, for an attraction themed around your imagination. It's not a good ride. If you don't have an emotional attachment to Figment, you're walking off that ride confused. Um, I think they need to bring back some of what people liked, um, but in a fresh new way, because we keep moving forward. Restore it, okay? Treat it like it's a 1967 Cadillac, baby. Restore it, polish it, bring back them old parts, and let me tell you something, you'll be riding with the homies, rolling with the homies in imagination. I think if a human body smells like bread, something's wrong with their pH, and they need to get that balanced. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure? I don't know. Why is it on this list? Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is uh, the second newest ride in Epcot before Guardians. I asked for this ride. I fully asked for it. And to be honest with you, I know several other people who wanted this ride here too. And it is a Ratatouille ride located in the expanded French France Pavilion. I don't know that I agree with this one being on the list. There was controversy when it opened and people were like, I don't like it. I think it's fun. I know that I didn't ask for it, but I'm glad it's here. I think that people were still excited about it though. Like this was still a new ride that you can't ride domestically. It was a ride based on a Pixar film, which is always super fun. Ratatouille is a beloved Pixar film. I think nobody asked for it because it existed in another theme park, but it also existed in Paris, so. I have not been to Paris yet. Ever since I've seen this attraction, I've wanted to go on it. It bugs me less when we bring a ride that exists internationally domestically. It bugs me more when we're doing the same ride in Disneyland and Disney World. I'm always gonna say that I think that Disney should make a brand new ride anytime. I love seeing what they do and how creative they are. If, if Disney wants to give us something new, I am here to receive it. But this is a ride that I really liked in Paris and I think it's fun that we got it here. When people have gone to Disneyland in Paris and they were like, my favorite ride is Ratatouille Adventure. I'm like, so is mine. That ride is amazing. And they're like, you've been to Disneyland Paris? And I'm like, I've been to Paris at Disney World. So it's kind of the same thing, right? And they're like, no. And I'm like, which has the best trackless ride system? Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, Rise of the Resistance, or Remy's Ratatouille Adventure? Remy has the worst. I'll tell you that. I'm gonna give it to Remy's if for no other reason than they're the cutest vehicles. 
my favorite of these three is going to be Remy's Ratatouille Adventure because of the elegance, because of the shape of the car, and it is um, the first. I would say Rise of the Resistance has the best trackless system. That's kind of an easy answer. Everybody likes Rise. The reason that I would choose it over Mickey or Minnie, Mickey and Minnie's or Remy's is the little drop. I, that just got me every, it gets me every time. It drops too, y'all. Rise of the Resistance drops. Mickey's and Minnie's Runaway Railway does not drop. Neither does the Rat Ride, okay? The Rat Ride got the best bread smell, but it don't drop. So, Rise of the Resistance, easy. Oh, fireworks. Duh! I want Astro Orbiter. The Astro Orbiter is shockingly thrilling slash terrifying. Astro Orbiters is Dumbo and Aladdin's magic carpets on top of a building. And I find this one funny because I there's no way anybody was like, hey, you know what we need? Dumbo, but with less comfortable seats on top of a building. Honestly, I think the worst ride in Disney World. Hot take, I hate it. I hate it so much. I've been on it one time. I will, if God willing, I will never get on the ride again. This ride is one of those rides that I will ride to make somebody else ride it. No thanks, honey. I'm gonna stay on the ground and have a coconut dough whip and an egg roll and watch you go in circles, okay? Sometimes I go on it for fun by myself and I just fly. My name is RJ, not Luther. And I will not be going in circles. Mm, mm, mm. I love seeing the contemporary resort, like the weird parking lot on the other side of the Space Mountain and seeing the Tron construction and I don't know, it's fun. There's fun up there in the in the friendly skies. If I'm with a friend, I'll be like, oh my gosh, you gotta ride Astro Orbiter. And then I'll drag him up there and they'll be like, why did you do this to me? And I'll be like, <laughs> Oh, around and around y'all go. It's a real pain to get up there because you have to literally take an elevator. I'm gonna say if you are looking for thrills, Astro Orbiter is going to be the best for you. I would say it's probably the best for me out of the three Dumbo Magic Carpets of Aladdin and Astro Orbiter. I personally think that Magic Carpets of Aladdin is the best and here's why. Cause it's next to Dole Whip so you can reward yourself for getting on it. I mean, Dumbo is the best, it's the OG. It's the only one that you like gotta ride because it's like an iconic attraction. Before you get on it, you can get a Dole Whip. Dumbo is the best spinner, bar none. Not only because the, the entire attraction sort of got a renovation and a, and a facelift, um, but because it is the OG and the classic. And when you walk by it and appreciate it, you can get a Dole Whip. If Disney got rid of it, what should replace it? Something Buzz Lightyear themed, because I don't think there's enough. Don't come at me and say, well, he already has a ride. He can have two rides. He's got five movies, give him another ride. I don't know that I would bother replacing it. I mean, it's on the roof of People Mover. And I think that there are, you could just do anything else. You could close it and I wouldn't even know. Maybe just a planetarium. That'd be kind of cool to see if I got to see it. I mean, we're getting some of the most updated shots of deep space that we've had forever. So I think it'd be really neat to have a planetarium built. You could maintain the same sort of structural integrity of the sort of boom arms and just build on top of them um, representations of the other galaxies that we can see. My least favorite ride out of this list is for sure Astro Orbiter. I mean, it's just another Dumbo, but it's a pain to get to. Astro Orbiter is my least favorite ride out of this list. That's the one that really no one asked for. I'm gonna have to say my least favorite attraction on this list is Journey into Imagination with Figment. Not because I really dislike the ride, but I wish it would be closed and turned into a Figment ride that's worthy of the fandom. Let's redo Figment or get rid of him entirely. It did spark your imagination, but not in the best ways sometimes. I thought about ways that the Dreamfinder might turn on me one day when the velvet curtains closed around my section of ride vehicles and we were in there alone with him and one day he might turn and go, hello, I'm tired of saying the same thing over and over and over again all day and all night and I'm thirsty for the blood of children. You know, that kind of thing. I thought about a lot. Wow, we have strong opinions about Disney World rides. Now go watch our episode about Disney's worst decisions.